Hello, Malcolm here, and welcome to Highlights from Hebrews, episode 11. And today we're talking about what the writer to the Hebrews discusses in terms of a priesthood for all. Such a difference, such a contrast between the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, that there is a priesthood for all. A priesthood of all believers, as it says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, that's something clearly that this writer also believes in. But also, a priesthood for all in that all have access. Not just, not just the high priest of the Old Covenant, and not just our great high priest, Jesus, but because he has gone in... We also have direct access to God. What an amazing idea. How revolutionary. Chapter 10, verse 19. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence, confidence, what a great word, an important word. In fact, can also be translated boldness. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have boldness to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, not our own blood, but his, not our own confidence in ourselves, but in him, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain, that is his body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. Now what what sprinkling and washing is going on here? What's he talking about? Well, it's baptism he's talking about. The bodily cleansing here is initiatory. It's in the Greek perfect tense, and it refers to baptism. Perhaps some of the Jewish Christians still had an idea that more washings were necessary to stay clean. And he is saying, no, no, you've had your bodies washed with pure water. Your hearts have been sprinkled. You've been cleansed. And thus you can have boldness and confidence to enter to enter, to be in the presence of God. Perhaps a good thing to reflect on today is how lucky we are to be able to enter directly, to speak with God, to be with God, to dwell with God, beginning now and lasting forever. What an amazing thing it is that Jesus has given us this access. The door has been opened. Are you walking in head held high? That is what Jesus wants for you. Well, as always, we will end with this section of Hebrews 13, 20 and 21. Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Until episode 12, God bless.